Hey guys, welcome back to Pro Gun. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. We'd greatly appreciate that. We do giveaways from time to time, and the only way to be eligible is if you subscribe. So please subscribe to our channel. For those of you that are considering moving up to a Glock 45 ACP or a 10 millimeter, I will do a comparison of the Glock 20 versus the Glock 21. Give you my pros and cons, and based off of my takes, uh, you should be able to make your own decision on what you think is right for you. I want to start off by saying these are both awesome guns. I own them both, and I carry them both. And my philosophy is if it's a gun that I don't love and I won't carry, I get rid of it and I get something else. So let's start off with the Glock 21. This is unloaded. Glock 21 is a 45 ACP. And it comes with the 13 round magazine. And the Glock 20, which is also unloaded, is a 10 millimeter. And it comes with a 15 round magazine. They're both identical in size and width. The nice thing about that is that they both fit in the same holster. So I really like that. I don't need a separate holster for each gun. Now let me go through the differences of the caliber. Okay, The 45 ACP is a shorter cartridge, but it's much wider. And there's no question that this is an excellent self-defense round. Uh, it's slow moving, but uh, it hits like a sledgehammer. And on the Glock 21, the frame is very beefy, just like on the Glock 20. The recoil on the 45 is actually very minimal. Um, it's not really much more than a 9mm. It's very easy to control. The Glock 20, on the other hand, the 10mm, it holds... 15 rounds of a longer cartridge. It's not as wide as the 45 ACP, but it travels very quickly. Now, I don't really have any cons about the Glock 20. However, a 10 millimeter is not for everyone. I definitely would not recommend a 10 millimeter to an inexperienced shooter. And to own these guns for the range or uh, for the woods, either one of them is perfect. If you're going to carry it, I would give the edge to the Glock 21 and 45 ACP for one simple reason. The recoil on the Glock 20 10 millimeter is a, it's a pretty hefty recoil. I mean, it's manageable, but I think if you're going to carry it for personal defense, uh, my only concern with this is that the second follow-up shot is much harder with the 10 millimeter as opposed to the 45 ACP. Now, if you're going to be out in the woods and in bear country, I would definitely recommend the Glock 20 and 10 millimeter. That's for sure. However, uh, to just carry on a daily basis for personal defense, I, I would give the edge to the Glock 21. You can't go wrong with either of them. Like I said, I, I love them both. Um, the biggest difference is um, basically the recoil. Um, even though they're both fairly large guns, they do conceal fairly, fairly well. If you have a, a good gun belt and a good holster, uh, you can easily conceal them because I do carry them both and they do conceal very well. Uh, if you are in the market of getting a 45 or a 10 millimeter. Like I said, they're, they're both great guns, but for defensive purposes and defensive carry, if I had to choose one, I would go with the Glock 21 and 45 ACP. But that's a personal choice. Um, you know, my, again, my, my only concern is that a, a follow-up shot with the 10 millimeter is much harder to get back on target than the 45 ACP. I hope this is uh, informative and helps you with your decision. Thanks for watching.